Dolphins slated to pick Drew Locke from the experts uh, at number 13. You know, so um, they could trade up, but I don't think there's any other teams that are going to uh, pick a quarterback besides Arizona, New York, and Miami at 13. So I'm not so sure trading up is that great, and I kind of like how well Jones did uh, in the senior game and in the combine from Duke. So I think it's pretty safe here uh, to draft Drew Locke. Um, I want, there's no reason to trade up though. Um, I, I don't think they should feel that they need to do that. Like the bears traded up that one position, stupid move when they drafted uh, Trubisky. I think there's plenty of talent. If somehow they missed drew lock, but maybe the giants draft drew lock and they get Dwayne Haskins, who knows, but this is absolutely 100% the correct pick here. The Atlanta Falcons are next on the clock slated to pick at Oliver that we just covered. I actually agree with this 100%. Um, they need another disruptor next to Grady Jarrett. Atlanta was terrible against the run last year, allowing 4.9 yards per rush. Um, like I said, a little bit dangerous because Oliver could be a head case, but this is 100% the correct pick here. Um, they're not that far away about, uh, from being back in the playoffs. Freeman will be back. Uh, they're going to be more, you know, they're going to be healthy. They got great receivers already. So, I think definitely uh, Ed Oliver is perfect pick for the Atlanta Falcons here. The question is, do they need to trade up to get him? You know, is there another team that's going to snag him earlier? The Washington Redskins slated to pick Brian Burns, offensive linebacker from Florida State. Okay. So <laughs> a lot of people saying that Washington's going to trade up to try to get Drew Locke. And you can't project trades, obviously. But um, if they didn't, this is where Brian Burns would be slated, according to the experts. What should they do? Well, we all know that Case Keenum isn't the answer. And Colt McCoy is undersized. (laughs) Alex Smith is still hurt. Can't win the big game. He might not even be able to play in the start of the season from that gruesome injury last year. Trade up or trade down is what I say. You don't have a quarterback for the future, you know, but I hate the Redskins picking at 15th here. You know, being that they traded their sixth round uh, 2020 pick for Keenum, I think they're going to trade up. Uh, You know, they're already giving up picks. They're trying to go for it somewhat, but they have a lot of other holes, okay? They also need O-line. They need linebackers they need wide receivers you know who's their best wide receiver right josh doxson they got rid of crowder you know (laughs) i mean they are trey quinn i suppose would be second but they they need a lot of help there i mean this redskin team just needs so many things safeties you know (laughs) I, i trade up or trade down If you trade down, you're tanking. If you trade up, well, good luck to you because you're going to be giving up some more holes. And, you know, at least you have a young quarterback, I guess, you can try to build around. The Carolina Panthers slated to pick Clellan Farrell uh, or Farrell from Clemson, defensive end. I watched this kid play. He was awesome. Okay. He fits in the 4 3 defense. Huge frame, 6'4, 264 pounds. Yeah, obviously, anybody from Clemson, right? <clears throat> so what should they do? Greg Olson's getting old. I tell you, my patience is running thin with Cam Newton here. But being said that, they got to get back to what them got to the Super, what got them to the Super Bowl, and that was defense. Get back to that. I'm okay with an edge rusher, especially a guy like Farrell. I, I, I wouldn't mind if they traded down and got more picks, and maybe um, they could draft Noah Fant later. Uh, to help replace Olsen getting old. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'm i good with Clellan Farrell for the 16th pick for the Carolina Panthers. Next on the clock, we have the New York Giants. Got this draft from Cleveland. They're slated to pick Christian Wilkins, defensive tackle from Clemson. This selection... Um, I, you know, it's there's been a ton of edge rushers that went off already. 
I got to tell you, uh, the Giants need help both places, defensive tackle and edge rusher. Um, I think that you know Wilkins is a beast at 6'3", 315 pounds. But to be honest with you, I'd like a different guy. Um, I, I like Dexter Lawrence instead of Christian Wilkins. I think they grade very similar, but I kind of like um, them stuffing up the run um, in the middle a little bit better. Dexter Lawrence is... Uh, 6'4", 342, you know, so he's roughly 25, 30 pounds heavier. Um, he's a little bit more of a run stopper. So uh, I'd be fine with Dexter Lawrence there instead. But uh, Christian Wilkins, you can't fault him for uh, picking Christian Wilkins. Either way, these guys are both going in the first round. It doesn't matter. The Minnesota Vikings slapped it to pick Jonah Williams uh, being a tackle or a guard. in front. He's from Alabama. You know, so 43 starts he had for the Crimson Tide. 6'4", 302 pounds. Dude's a beast. You see, he's Bama, obviously. And you know that, uh, you know, Bama, Bama only gets the best talent. You know, they lost Matt Khalil, so I'm okay with Jonah Williams here. But the Vikings also need to replace Sheldon Richardson on defensive tackle. So if Lawrence is available... Dexter Lawrence that I just discussed, I think he would be an okay pick, but I am also okay with picking Jonah Williams. The problem with the Vikings is that they just paid a very average quarterback franchise money, okay? They are stuck with Kirk Cousins here, and Kirk Cousins, sorry, he stinks. He is not a great NFL quarterback that's going to do anything in the playoffs. He can't win the big game. I'm sorry, Vikings fans. You like that? You like that? Next, we have the Titans. And the Titans are slated to pick Dexter Lawrence. Okay? So, um, what should they do? Well, they got Cameron Wake for their edge rusher. But I'm still not sold on their wide receivers, even though they added Adam Humphreys. You know, I don't think they have enough downfield weapons for their quarterback. Being that wide receiver should be pretty deep this year, you know, I, I guess I'm good with a run stuffer like Dexter Lawrence. If he's not available, then I'm fine with Christian Wilkins. But um, trading down wouldn't be a, the worst option either because uh, it, it'd be nice to get another pick where you can get another uh, a decent receiver in the second round. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm okay with that. But the Titans seem to really focus on defense, and their offense has not been that pretty over the past couple of years. So um, I think they're going to need another playmaker and wide receiver eventually. The Pittsburgh Steelers slated to pick DeAndre Baker, cornerback from Georgia. He's 5'11", 193 pounds. Um, you know, the Steelers don't have any glaring needs because of how well they did in free agency this year as well. Um, I like the Moncrief pickup to replace that loudmouth Antonio Brown. Uh, their defense... Started out bad, but it got much better throughout the year. It went from like worst to like top ten almost. It, it, it was kind of crazy how, how how you watch them improve. They just couldn't win the bigger games at the end to make the playoffs. The Steelers need a cornerback, I think, the most. All right, and uh, so I think this is the right idea. But um, you know, I'm not. I don't know if DeAndre Baker is the best cornerback out there. There's Greedy Williams out there, but um, I guess I'm fine with one of those two. Let, let, let's go ahead and allow the Steelers to pick uh, a cornerback, and I agree with the experts. Seattle Seahawks. Chris Lindstrom, guard from Boston College, is what they're slated to pick here. Okay. Well, I got to tell you, I was really down on the Seahawks offensive line last year, and they happened to do a lot better than I thought they would. You know, Lindstrom is 6'4", 308 pounds. He's a beast. But the Seahawks blew their first round pick last year, drafting Rashad Penny. Um, and it, Wilson kind of proved that he doesn't need offensive line as much as other teams with how he scrambles, how he gets out of the pocket. I, he's better when he rolls out of the pocket, you know? They already picked up DJ Fluker from New York. Losing Earl Thomas really hurt this defense. So I'd be okay with them trading down and late drafting like 
um, Darnell Savage in the second round while acquiring a third round pick. So I think what they should do is trade down uh, rather than rush and go get a, this guard. Number 22, Baltimore Ravens slated to pick Eric McCoy, center guard, slash, well, center slash guard from Texas A&M, interior offensive line. You know, this guy rose up in the combine as well. Fastest 40-yard dash out of any lineman, 4.89 seconds. It's pretty awesome. Six foot four, three 303 pounds. I am 100% fine with this pick. You're going to know whenever there's an offensive lineman slated to be picked, <laughs> most of the time I'm completely fine with it because you know how much I value the trenches here. I think the trenches sometimes make the running back what the running back is. The problem with the Ravens, is that they'll never win a Super Bowl with Lamar Jackson. Um, I really believe that, and I think they need a quarterback at some point here. But, uh, you know, they're not going to go in that direction, as you know. So um, just to let you know, I feel that they really need another quarterback. But going with what they're going to do, I am completely fine with them drafting offensive line. Maybe they can get a quarterback a little bit later. Houston Texans. Slated to pick Andre Dillard, offensive tackle from Washington State. He's another beast, six foot five, three hundred fifteen pounds. Okay, now I guess the fact that he played in the um, <clears throat> top or the Pac twelve, <laughs> it doesn't slate well. But the guy did amazing for Washington State. You saw how 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 he protected Garner Minshew last year. <sighs> you know, Houston. They need to address their secondary, but they they also need to protect Deshaun Watson. Um, so <laughs> I'm fine with this pick, and uh, hopefully hopefully they can get address the secondary a little bit, being that the draft uh, should be a little bit more deep in the second round for cornerbacks and safeties. Um, but they can also use a tight end as well. Let's go ahead and be okay with Andre Dillard, offensive tackle from Washington State. The Oakland Raiders. Josh Jacobs at pick 24 that he got from the Bears, running back from Alabama. Um, the Raiders lost Marshawn Lynch and Doug Martin last season. Um, they that's, that's the only thing they really didn't fill was their running back. Jacobs is pretty fresh coming out of Crim, uh, Alabama. Only 300 touches. You know, uh, But I'll tell you this, man. The Raiders spent so much money this year. They're probably going to draft a running back, but I don't like drafting running backs in the first round. I, I think they're more plug-and-play type players uh, for the most part. I mean, there's some special players out there, obviously, but taking a chance, I'd rather have them go with a cornerback. I'd rather have them go with Greedy Williams. They need to stop uh, Kansas City this year, okay? Mahomes, they need to stop, uh, you know, well, obviously – Denver and the Chargers, they need to stop those type teams. I think that Greedy Williams is perfect for uh, this position. I do not agree with drafting a running back here. Even though the Raiders probably will, I am going to go with Greedy Williams. Number 25, the Philadelphia Eagles slated to pick Jonathan Abram safety from Mississippi State. 5'11", 205 pounds. Uh, 4.45 40-yard dash. That's good for a safety. I'm mean, okay with this. The Eagles had the third worst passing defense last year, and a good safety can help. I think this would be a perfect pick for the Eagles. Um, I think uh, obviously <laughs> Carson Wentz better prove that he's better than Nick Foles this year, especially when it comes to clutch situations like Foles is in the playoffs. Number 26. This one's good. The Indianapolis Colts are slated to pick wide receiver Terry McLaurin from Ohio State. I don't know. He wasn't even really ranked in the top wide receivers, but um, this expert has it as uh, the 26th pick. I think uh, Marquise Brown or maybe Paris Campbell would be a good fit. But either way, looking at what the Indianapolis Colts should do is not draft a wide receiver. They should trade up and get an edge rusher and Josh Allen or Montez Sweat. Okay. They are one pass rusher away from the Super Bowl, in my opinion. Literally. This team is stacked. You can get a wide receiver later. 
There is absolutely zero.